Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So I've done one of these challenges before, but I thought it'd be really fun to do it again. Back in middle school is when I started taking drawing a little bit more seriously, and I knew that I wanted to do with some something with drawing with my life. So I started when I was 12 years old, and I started just getting sketchbook upon sketchbook. So these were one of my first sketchbooks, and it's a Crayola sketchbook with this fluffy little squirrel in the front is to show you one of my old sketchbooks and then redraw what are the drawings in here. Apparently I didn't like this. I didn't like this one either. Oh my gosh, so indecisive Priscilla. You can just, first of all, little Priscilla, why are you drawing with Sharpie without sketching that out? Still didn't draw a face. Why are you not sketching these out first, little Priscilla? You are ridiculous. I'm pretty sure it's Cinderella. That looks like the gist of her hair and her... <laughs> Why am I drawing with just Sharpie? She's really cool. Is that the Star of David there? That's kind of cool. Oh, we got a, a cat. I just don't get it. Why am I drawing with just a Sharpie? Oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting cat. Does it say meow? I can't even read my own writing. <laughs> We have a unicorn! Unicorn, unicorn. Another failed attempt at a unicorn. A really failed attempt at a unicorn. We got a wolf. Woo! This is really cool! Look at this! It's on fire! Another unicorn. Ooh, another pretty unicorn. Look at this! Ooh, that's so pretty. That's actually really, really pretty. That's cute. I don't know which one to draw. I think I'm uh, either draw this one or another one. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> what is the, What kind of body form is that? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, look. Round two. What is going on with this horse's butt? Look at the horse butt. <laughs> Super daring to go ahead and draw with a ballpoint pen. That looks like it's like, okay, I've got one, two legs down, I quit. <laughs> See, look at art block everywhere. I was not having a good day with anything. Look, I wasn't even happy with this guy. Okay, so we got Puss in Boots right here. That's like a human cat. What is that? <laughs> we got a vampire, a vampire girl? Goodness, we're just getting, okay, look at here's a vampire teeth and then what is that? <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. I think that it would be really cool to redo with the unicorn. So yeah, let's do this and see side by side. So this was when I was 12. I'm 27 now. So uh, math, that's what, 15 years? I did, yeah, 15 years, it's been 15 years. So let's redraw this. I thought it would only be fair since apparently I did this drawing and it looks like Sharpies <laughs> or water-based Crayola markers to go ahead and use Copic markers to complete this illustration. Alright, so I wanted to get the almost the exact same pose from my original drawing and I put the princess with the unicorn but kind of instead of the that just looked like an awkward position for the unicorn bending its neck all the way to the princess and I really wanted to make the princess or maiden's hair uh, dark like black like Agnes from Despicable Me because she was so so ready to find a unicorn in Despicable Me 3 so I thought that would have been a good thing to add but then I thought no I'm not gonna make her hair brown I have to make it blonde like the original picture now that that is super like blacked out blonde if you look at the original picture because as you can see I completely started smearing sharpie everywhere and she is super tan and the unicorn I I don't know I could pick up my old drawings forever but it, the thing is even though how disgusting and so cringy these doodles are from years and years ago 15 years I said it the thing is that I kept my sketchbooks around and even though you hate an art piece so much, don't ever throw it away. That's a huge thing. I have seen countless of my students take a piece of art they've already made and they go and they throw it away. It infuriates me because you just don't know when you could use it again. For example, I'm reusing one of my drawings. I had no idea when I was 12 years old that YouTube would even exist or I would be posting videos on YouTube. At that point in time, I just wanted to be a cartoon artist and a movie star. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to be when I was 12. 
Plus, it is always encouraging to look back on your artwork that you've done in the past. Even though you can't stand it, if you look back on it and you look at what your art style is, that is what really, really, really matters, is just looking at your improvement and your progress. And that's really important. Even if you're a writer or you do any kind of art form, or if you're into sports, oh my goodness, it's all a bunch of practice. And you look at yourself and you look at like videotapes of your sporting games. If your parents take videotapes at your games, or if you are a writer, you look back on your old stuff and you see that you have improved and you look for where can I improve or someday you might become a teacher and you can just show that yeah I know what I'm doing and just looking at your progress as an artist or a person in everyday life it is very 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 important that you keep record of it just to see how far you've come so let's take a look at the hair oh the hair was great this is the first time I've ever blended a rainbow since my bullet journal from my March um video of my bullet journal doodle and i had the the whole like uh, the, it wasn't blending with my copic markers on that paper so using bristol board to blend oh so much nicer and i was like yes this is actually working this time but i had a lot of fun making unicorn's hair and the maiden princess hair um i don't know i feel like these guys need names let's think of a name how about Rain? <laughs> Even though that's the spirit of Stallion Cimarron's horse's name. But it'd be cool if it was like Rain or Sparkle. I don't know. <laughs> what do you name a unicorn? Um, I don't know. For the maiden, she looks like a Kelly because she reminds me of my cousin. So, Or Faith. How about Faith? Because she looks like my cousin Faith. All she needs now is a bunch of freckles. I should have thrown freckles all over her face and she could have been my cousin Faith. So, yeah, let's call her Faith or Kelly. I don't know. Kelly or Faith? Let's go with Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. Kellyanne or something pretty. <laughs> Kelly Marie. Yeah, that works. Kelly Marie or Anna Claire. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aunt Princess Anna Claire and Rain the Rainbow Unicorn. <laughs> so here they are together. What a progression. Who would have ever thought little 12-year-old me would think that 27-year-old me was going to redraw this? Oh my goodness. The progress. Look at this. So much fun. If you guys have not tried this challenge yet, it's a lot of fun. If you have old sketchbooks, never throw them away. Make sure you go back and you do a doodle. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a most wonderful weekend. Bye!